Hello guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to do the timing marks, how to align all the timing marks on a uh, Dodge Stratus, the 2.4 or uh, Chrysler Sebring, which is the same 2.4 engine, or PT Cruiser, the Dodge and the Stratus, I think they are from 2000 all the way to 2006. This is the 2.4 Chrysler engine, not the Mitsubishi one that they put in the cubes. And now what you need to do, you need to make sure that both both sprockets, as you can see, both gears are showing with the arrow up, both of them. It's hard to show you this one right there. And now the timing marks, let me show you there, right there. Okay, right, right there. And what you need to do, you need to, uh, do not align them all the way, you need to go half a tooth advanced on the exhaust cam. And this is because when we, when we install the new belt, we're going to use that half tooth to return the sprocket to the back to get the slack out of it. And what you need to do, of course, uh, you need to get the new belt and you start from the very bottom, which is the, uh, the crankshaft pulley. And you need to make sure that it is all aligned right there. As you can see, this is where the mark is and that's where the, the other one mark is. And now you start from the bottom and then you need to go to the water pump right there and then you need to go to the other pulley the two gears on top and the tensioner is the last one yeah, okay we just installed the belt as you can see we still uh, haven't tightened the tensioner so we can show you those marks there they align almost perfect and okay right there see and the one down there it is perfect as well as you can see it's where it's supposed to be and now what you need to do you need a little ratchet and now you need to go in the tensioner in the hole there and you need to turn the tensioner counterclockwise so you give some tension to the belt it's it's about that you can kind of like feel it and then you need to use a 13 millimeter wrench or socket to get the tensioner tight. Do not forget to do that part because and you need to be holding it with the ratchet at the same time otherwise you will be risking to leave the belt too loose which can result in hitting like breaking the belt and hitting the valves. Okay we got the tensioner tight and what we're going to do now we remove all four spark plugs that way we will not be building any compression and with a 19mm socket or a wrench you go on the crankshaft and you, you need to make at least two revolutions to make sure that everything is good, you are not hitting valves if, if all of a sudden the engine stops do not put, put pressure on it maybe there is something wrong with the timing belt installation so when you do two revolutions that means that the engine did one whole cycle it went through actually the four cycles, that's why it's a four cycle engine and you'll be sure that you are not hitting the valves and after you do two revolutions go again and check if your, if your timing marks align that way you'll be 100% sure that everything is good and you have no problems at all so that's the whole procedure guys, thank you for watching us don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for about 5 new videos every week